an unusual video coming for me today, at least as of late. Lately, I've been covering mostly news video, food news, ultra-processed food news, which I think may end up being where my real niche is in this community, is talking about the attempts to get you to eat more and more fake meat in the name of health and the planet and the rest of it. But I had some uh, an interesting bit of health news or an event in my life yesterday to compound everything else I've gone through this year on the health front that in the last year has caused me to gain a massive amount of weight, which is weird. <laughs> Didn't think that was possible, but okay, here we are. And this is another one that shouldn't have been possible. I had a cavity drilled and a, a crown put on my tooth yesterday, a temporary crown. In early November, I will have the final permanent crown put on. Again, I don't know how you get a cavity when you're not consuming sugar, but again, here we are. So, uh, for, you know, they said for the first day, don't eat anything, uh, you know, firm or sticky or anything like that. Well, sticky's fine. That's not that hard, but firm can be kind of a problem. And the, and so I kept, I, I was very diligent about chewing on the not crowned side of my mouth after the event, but I, you know, I'm still sore. And frankly, I don't trust this temporary crown. When they told me, you know, don't eat an almond on, on that side, you'll break the crown. I need to ask people in this community. They also, they, they said basically most meat could actually harm the temporary crown. So what should I eat in the coming days? And I ask you this because typically, you know, I, I try to fast or at least intermittent, do a lengthy intermittent fast on a Friday for personal religious reasons. But, uh... If you can't eat meat, what do you want? What do you think I should eat? You know, things like yogurt come to mind. Uh, don't even try to tell me to get full fat yogurt. I have literally never seen that anywhere for sale in the United States of America. I've never seen it. If you know where I can find it, go ahead and let me know. I live in central Oklahoma, and even the uh, Whole Foods near me and the Sprouts in the that are relatively close to me don't offer those. Um, I'm allergic to egg whites, so I can't cook eggs. I can eat a egg yolk raw. I could probably, you know, get my wife to whip up a giant batch of her hollandaise sauce. It's butter and eggs with a little vinegar or a tiny dash of lemon juice for flavor. That's it. That's the only egg thing I, that I really can't eat are either raw egg yolks or her hollandaise sauce. So, you know, I'll pro you know, maybe I'll do some fish or something today. Because that's generally soft, but uh, they explicitly said that firm and you know crunchy things are a non-starter can't even have my carnivore crisp today when you're in the next few days which is gonna be kind of annoying actually <laughs> so um let me know what do you think i should eat or should i just not eat on that side it doesn't hurt to touch anymore although it's still a little like temperature sensitive you know something cold probably still gonna hurt it just because it's a temporary crown and it's not um used to it yet but I need your advice. You know, usually people come to YouTube videos like this for advice on how to carnivore better. I need the advice of the community this day because I don't know what to eat. And I, I honestly, I'm not going to go buy beef liver to make, you know, a beef liver pate. It doesn't even sound good anyway. It sounds like I'd rather fast than eat that. <laughs> um, I, I'm one who didn't ever need organ meats on this diet. Never needed it. Found that, uh... I perform just as well without them as I did with them. So, Curious, though, what would you eat if you found yourself in this unenviable situation where you've got the, you know, <clears throat> the doctor propping your mouth open and, you know, drilling holes in your teeth <laughs> and putting on some weird wax, you know, glorified wax mold on top of it to actually give you a fake crown for a while? <laughs> what would you do? How would you uh, handle eating, you know, eating for a few days when you're explicitly told that certain foods will could damage the crown, including um, firm meat, which is pretty much all meat. <laughs> I've never had a, you know, a ribeye steak cooked even rare that wasn't firm. It would have been a problem for the crown that they're in the way they described. So again, short video for me today. Let me know how you would handle this in the comments. This is me reaching out to you for a little assistance here in yet another fun health downturn. Anyway, thanks for your time. Thanks for your input. Appreciate it. We'll be reading the comments later. And 
I'm Anthony Stein, The Practical Carnivore. Thanks for tuning in.